Hello friends, my name is Parish and you're watching Tech Dynamics. In this video, we are going to see how you can manage entity properties. So keep watching and stay tuned. Now, once you have created entities, you can manage their properties. But before that, there are a few points that you need to remember. Entity properties can be managed under customization. That is where you have created your entities, either in the customization section or in the solution section. Now, some of the properties once enabled cannot be disabled. So you have to be very careful while you're enabling certain properties in the entities. You can specify if an entity can be customized when exported as a part of a managed solution and also manage properties cannot be changed for system entities. So entities like accounts, leads, opportunities that come out of the box in Dynamics 365, those are called system entities. You cannot change manage properties for those system entities. They are all set to be customized. So let's go ahead and have a look. All right, so here we are in our Dynamics 365 environment. Let's just go to the advanced settings. So go to settings and go to solutions. And over here we have our own solution called Tech Quantum. And if you have seen my previous videos, I had just created these two entities just for the example. So these are custom entities. Let me just include an existing uh, system entity. So if I click on add existing and let's just say we select accounts over here, which is a system entity and we will just click on finish. So now if I select the account entity and click on managed properties over here, you will see that I'm not able to change any of the managed properties because this is a system entity. You are not able to change the managed properties for system entities. However, now if I select application, which is a custom entity and click on manage properties, you can see that I can specify if this entity will be customizable or not. As, as a part of my managed solution, I can have many entities. And once you install this uh, managed solution in a different environment, then I can specify if those entities can be changed or not. This is especially true for, you know, ISV solutions where they do not want, you know, the partners or, or anybody else to customize their solution uh, or the entities which are part of their solution. So um, we, you can actually change the managed properties. So you can uh, change individual properties over here or just change, you know, if, they, uh, if the entity is customizable or not. So this is the basic difference between um, a system entity and a customer entity and how you can set the managed properties for them. Now, as I mentioned, uh, there are various uh, other properties that are available at the, at the entity level. And you have to be very careful uh, that when you enable certain properties, you will not be able to disable it. For example, if you see various properties over here and some of the properties have a plus sign against it. So all these properties, if you enable them, you will not be able to disable them in future. You have to make sure that this feature is absolutely needed. Then you go ahead and enable that and publish the customization. But for properties which do not have a plus sign, like for example, mail merge, I can enable and disable them as I want. So, but if I do that for feedback, for example, and then click on save, then you will notice that once I have saved it, I'm not able to disable this. So you have to be very careful if those properties are really needed, then you should go ahead and enable it. Otherwise, you just let it remain as it is. So uh, that's about managing the properties uh, on an entity level. Why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself? Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Do share your comments and do not forget to subscribe to the channel Tech Dynamics. Bye bye.